Hey y'all, I'm Chan and you're watching Made by Chan. So today, let's talk about how we got here. <laughs> I need to make a dress for my office Christmas party in two days. Don't ask why I'm always doing things last minute. I did actually prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Circle of trust, real truth moment. I made a dress and I thought it was ugly. Recorded a whole video, made a dress, finished it. And I was like, this is ugly. So then I made, or then I was gonna wear another dress, but I felt self-conscious in it. And so I said, I don't wanna wear something that doesn't make me feel great. So here we are now, two days before, <laughs> and I have come up with a new idea and I'm going to make a new dress. So I actually sketched it out for you all. If you all wanna watch and see the stress of me doing this, <laughs> Please keep on watching. <laughs> All right, I sketched out a little idea. You can see the vibe I'm going for. So I wanna do a smock style dress out of this polka dot <laughs> organza that I picked up from Joanne's today. I already own a black slip, so I don't have to make that. And I kind of already have an idea of how I want it to go. So I'm thinking a loose bodice, uh, not puffy sleeves at the top, but puffy at the wrists. And then if I have enough fabric, two tiers, because I'd like to do one gathered tier and then have another gathered tier at the bottom to create like a small ruffle. I've never worked with organza before. We'll see how that goes. And I was going to put a zipper in it, but then I thought I could just uh, make the back open and I picked up some bias tape so I could just do that. And I don't, I don't want to do fringe seams. <laughs> I know, I know I'm supposed to, but I'm thinking about just serging the seams and then putting the bias tape over that. I don't think I have enough bias tape for that. So if I do go that route, I have to add the remaining bias tape tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> that makes the most sense because I don't have a lot of time. And tomorrow I have to go in the office. So I have to figure out the majority of this dress tonight, but I think it's gonna be pretty simple. So the first thing I need to do is cut my fabric. So, yeah, let's do that. I'm not gonna make this completely from scratch because I'm not crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am going to be using a couple patterns as my templates. So, but if I can advise you on how to do this yourself. So I'm gonna use the M8089. I actually did record a whole video for you all to see, but now it's out of season. So um, I'm probably gonna upload it in the spring. <laughs> Uh, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen my finished version and I love that dress. But I'm going to be using the sleeves from the M8089 and then just a basic bodice block. If you don't have one, if you just get like a standard dress pattern, you can have one or you can make your own and I can link a blog post in the description of where you can get one. I used to have a bodice block, but now it doesn't fit me anymore. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, I haven't checked. Uh, so I have like a basic one that I'm going to use. That's just a default one without my measurements, but that's okay because this dress is slightly oversized, but not really. Okay, let's cut. I cut out my dress basically. <laughs> so here I have sleeves, three pieces for the skirt, uh, bodice back, this front. I think I'm probably going to think this tier is too long, but I definitely have enough to make a ruffle. So I will wait and see. And then how I'm gonna seal it up in the back, I haven't fully made up my mind about yet. <laughs> so. so the first thing I need to do is the tape on here symbolizes the darts because I can't mark it. So what's my system here? <laughs> the bottom of the tape. I think, I have to double check, is the point of the, the, the bottom of the tape is the point of the dart and then the bottom corners are the ends of the dart. And then, can you even see that? <laughs> yeah. And then here, same system going. Let me put my darts in, then I'll check in after that. I'm gonna put my darts in and then also sew the side seams of my bodice and my shoulder seams. Then I'll check in. my body 
this. For the most part, this is delicious. <laughs> I impromptu decided to do French seams and I don't regret that decision. It actually looks nice. So I put French seams on it. I did the shoulders, sides, and then I sewed my darts too, as you saw. You're supposed to press your seams as you do them. I press my seams at the end. <laughs> or I press them when before I attach like a next tier or something because it's pretty important to do it then. The next thing I'm going to do is work on the sleeves. So I'm gonna put this to the side. Oh, I don't think I actually mentioned. Uh, when I did cut this out, I cut off about three inches of my bodice block on the front and the back. And then I left out the bottom darts on the front, but I did, or waistline darts on the front, but I left in the bust dart because I still want it to you know, flow nicely. And then I left in the back darts because I still want it to be slightly fitted, but a little oversized, you know? In a very uh, Lyrica or, mm, yeah, Lyrica Matoshi type of way. So the next thing I have to do with the sleeves is I'm going to add a ease stitch across the top and then I am going to sew up the side seams. <laughs> and then do I want to search the bottom. It'll probably look nicer if I do that. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to serge the bottom. Some of you might be saying, Chan, why don't you just use your serger for the whole thing? I haven't tested that yet. <laughs> I could, but I haven't tested that yet. I'm going to serge the bottom to finish the raw edge because I'm going to make this a casing for my elastic to go in and I don't want to have to hem it twice. I finished all the base work for my sleeves. So I French seamed the sides, surged the cuff, hem, lot, hem, raw edge. I <laughs> surged the raw edge. And I added in my ease stitch along the top. And then if you can see this piece of tape, <laughs> this is how I know this is the front of the sleeve versus the back. So next thing I need to do is form the casing for my elastic. For the elastic, I'm just going to, I just have, I just have white. <laughs> I don't have black elastic. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. <laughs> so I, well, let me see, I mean, it's kind of, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so I'm going to just uh, measure it around my wrist and then add an inch and a quarter. And then fold this up about five eighths, five eighths of an inch and sew it down so it forms a little tube and then feed the elastic into it. It took forever for some reason, but y'all, I have put my sleeves in my bodice. <laughs> this is really cute. Okay, my vision is coming together. It was between this and striped fabric, and I was like, it was like a striped tool, or like, uh, yeah, like a striped tool, striped chiffon, and I was like, I do not want to, <laughs> I do not want to have to match up all those stripes. But these chic polka dots, I'm living for. All right. This is, I've done as much as I can do on this tonight. The next thing I need to do is sew up the side seams of the skirt. So I'm going to do that. And then, and then I'm going to gather the skirt. I'm very tempted to use my serger <laughs> to do the gathering. Even though I don't really like how that looks. I'm probably not gonna do that. We'll see, we'll see what I decide. Excuse me, I look a mess. <laughs> but I'm wearing this hat because I haven't done my hair yet. It has been two days since we last talked. We're not gonna talk about what happened yesterday. I was just really tired. We had our team holiday party and it really took a lot out of me. I'm gonna make this straight. Anyway, I had to go to the fabric store this morning. The party's tonight, by the way. <laughs> I had to go to the fabric store this morning. 
because I kind of changed my mind about how I wanted to do some things. So I cut the bodice, I tried it on last night and it was too small, which means I need to update my bodice blocks. <laughs> and so I recut the toile today and I'll show it to you. And it was about, I just added like an inch and a half to all the sides and the top and now it fits the perfect oversize. I'm also not going to put darts in it. I also got more fabric because I changed my mind about how I want to do the seams and I picked up black elastic. So <laughs> now you're caught up. <laughs> I feel like if you watched Glee, that was very, that's what you missed on Glee. <laughs> so let me show you what we're doing. Okay. Where is everything? All right. I ripped the sleeves out of the old uh, bodice and so I put the black elastic in. I have not sewed it, but this just looks so much better. And then I have to re-add a uh, uh, easing stitch. Maybe, we'll see. It may fit into these brand new big chunky fat sleeves. Uh, <laughs> and then here is my recut front bodice, as you can see. And here are my two back pieces. And then this is the twall that I made just to see how I feel about the fit. And it was good. And then I also sewed up the back and left about, I'm gonna have to measure, but I'd say like five, six inches open to make sure I can pull it over my head because I don't wanna add a zipper to it. Also, I decided I'm not gonna put the darts in because these just fall really weirdly and not on my boobies. So that, that plan is out. <laughs> All right, so next thing. Next thing I need to do is cut, I wanna cut another piece of the skirt because I didn't end up sewing that because I didn't know how I wanted to do my seams. Well, I guess if I'm having a back seam, it actually would make sense to have a full line down the back versus no line. Cause I don't like the look of like a seam on the bodice but not a seam on the skirt. So never mind. don't have to recut the skirt. Executive decision. <laughs> so. Let me put the bodice back together and I'll show you what it looks like and I'll try it on for you all. Okay, if you look right here, you can see I have pinned on the double fold bias binding. I have actually already attached it to the other side. Let me find that. Right here, you can see, and it came out really nice, y'all. It just, it's just the perfect little touch to seal the edges in. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with here. If you've never done bias binding before, a real quick demo is you pin it, you see you have like two little lips on the inside if it's double fold. So you see the four creases, I pin it. This is a quarter of an inch. So I'm just gonna sew a quarter of an inch in and then I'm going to fold it back together and then wrap it around the piece and then you'll top stitch down a, like another layer of it. That's the best way to describe it. So you see here, you can kind of see, let me focus. You can see I top stitched it down and then it's been attached on this side. And it just makes it look really nice and neat. So I'm gonna sew that. I finished my bodice. You can't tell, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I finished the sleeves right there. I think it looks really good. I have to finish doing the French seams on the skirt. I just trimmed it, so I'm gonna encase them and then I'll do the gathers. Taking my bodice. I'm gonna take my skirt and put the right sides together. And then I am honestly just going to take the center of this, which I did not mark, but that's fine. <laughs> but you should mark the center of your skirt. This is the center front of my skirt. Put it on the center front of my bodice and call and pin this together. Do I wanna pin it or I'm gonna clip it? And then I'm going to pull the strings so that I can get it somewhat the same size on equal disbursements on both sides. I made a 
the lighting's horrible. <laughs> I made a last minute executive decision to surge the uh, where the skirt meets the bodice because I'm going to eventually, not today, <laughs> I'm eventually going to encase that in bias binding. So it's okay if that's what it looks like today. It's gonna be dark in there anyway. <laughs> but that's how I'm about. Y'all, I just tried it on. It's really cute. <laughs> I changed into my uh, nightgown because it's easier for me to take on and take off to like try stuff on. But I tried it on with my slip and it looks so good. <laughs> I was a little, I was a little uh, like, I don't know about this <laughs> at one point, <laughs> but it's really cute. I don't have time to do an extra ruffle. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna seal up the back. So thankfully I trimmed all my loose threads along the way, but I really like it. <laughs> I made an executive decision just to search the back. And then I added these, like, um, just, I encased the opening that was raw. I just saw the thread I needed to trim. And then I didn't go along the neckline because there's no time for that. <laughs> so I just made these ties really long so I could just tie it up in the back like that and just tie a bow. But anyway, it's done. It's done for now. I'll probably tweak it tonight to make it like perfect and I'll let you know all the tweaks I do, but for now, this is what I have. I need to get dressed, <laughs> do my hair, put my makeup on, and go to my office party. So next, obviously, you'll see the finished dress. But if you like this video, please give it a like or a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>